so the last, I don't know, night or two, really grinding on the Evo and we are ready. My, so my battery is only at 34%, so we're gonna kinda have to hurry this along. But I think the time has come. We are ready to fire this thing up here. I'll take you guys to the front here. <clears throat> Sorry for the shitty camera work here. Um, got everything buttoned up so it's filled with coolant. Uh, filled with oil. I don't have the intake on yet or this because I it doesn't need that to run. It's on a speed density tune. Uh, so let me get us behind the car. And this is this is gonna be the first crank, or the this is gonna be the first crank on fingers crossed. Nothing, fingers crossed, nothing goes bad here because uh, I'll probably get roasted, but honestly, I didn't do anything I should have. I, I never did a compression test. Well, other after I fixed it, I mean. I never did a, a compression test. I never did a leak down test. The only photo vacuum I've ever pulled on this engine is when I just filled the coolant because I had one of these cool tools right here where you pull a vacuum on it and then you open the valve and the... It pulls a vacuum on the coolant system, so then you don't have to sit there and bleed. So here, I'm gonna set you guys up. How does that look? All right, here we go, you guys. I am nervous as fuck. Here we go. We got a door on. Oh god, tell me I remember my keys. Yep. Holy shit. Here we go. I am genuinely nervous as fuck for this. fuck with this a little bit like I said my battery on the camera was dying so sorry it's so loud there's smoke burning off of it from new parts from where oils drip down where coolants drip down I'll catch you guys in a little bit okay okay now my battery is really about to die but I figured out why it was uh, kind of really lopy like that forgot to plug one of the injectors in simple mistake it happens. I plugged it in. I'm going to fire it up again. Also, I set the car down. rise and fall. <laughs> Jeez. It happened. The Evo blew up in less than 24 hours. Yes. Yes, it is true. This car just blew up. 
in less than tw the 24 hour time that I had with it. Now, it wasn't just like I fired it up, took it down the street and it blew up again. I literally put 200 miles on this car this weekend because what I thought last year was, was that I got some bad E85. So I wanted to just cycle that tank through the car. I, so I wanted to cycle that tank through the car, which I did. Um, filled it up with good 85. It tested at 85%. Those that run 85 know that know what I mean by that. The ethanol content is 85%, and that's phenomenal. Tested at 85%. Everything was fine. This car drives great. Uh, and then I waited until my hometown. I don't have ethanol in my hometown here. I have to drive to get it. And a buddy was with me, and I waited until I got to my hometown to try and get on it. And uh, I got on it, and it blew the head gasket again. Now, I legit have no idea what happened to this thing. The only thing that I can come up with now, so the, la the first time it blew up, I was at a car show and I had my hood open. And this right here, if you don't know what this is, is a boost controller, right? This simple knob, I don't know if you can hear that, this simple knob controls how much boost is ran by turning it just like that. I don't know if someone came up, grabbed it, and just fucking turned it and turned the boost up, and that's what caused the initial head gasket to blow and melt my cylinder head. Um, I actually have the old gasket over there still. So, when I tested the ethanol, that kind of put a kibosh to that because it tested at 85%, or it, t it tested 85%, the old fuel too. So, I had to go get it, uh, me and a buddy of mine, thank God that he was there, he was a come along to get it up on the trailer and it took us, I don't know, probably half hour, 45 minutes to an hour to get that thing up on the trailer without under it, or with, just, just better, because um, it wouldn't move under its own power. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. My, can, my guesses are now, I even had my injectors cleaned. So they were pretty gross. So now I'll, it's either someone messed with my boost controller or my, cause this has got a, a double pump fuel pump set up and it mean, meaning there's two, there's two fuel pumps in the tank. There's a, a, a first or a primary and a secondary. The secondary is designed to wire in to come on at 7 PSI, right? So if that isn't working and it was tuned um, with, that, you know, with that extra feed pressure from the secondary pump, it just goes way lean and then melts a head gasket. So <sighs> fuck my life, seriously. So new gasket for sure knock on wood the block is straight the head is good and it's just the head gasket i shut it down right away um and then when you crank it over it just spits coolant right out the front of the engine uh, beneath the exhaust manifold where the head gasket would be so here we go i'll keep you guys posted i'm going to take you along with the ride again I don't know if I'm going to be doing the work or if I'm going to send it off to a shop because it, now it needs to be retuned 100%. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing that, um, doing the work and then dropping it off to have it retuned or just shipping it because I don't have time because I bought a house um, and I'll go over that in a separate video. I closed this week. We moved next weekend. So I'm really not going to have time right now and I don't want this thing to just continue to sit. So I'll go over that in a separate video. Um, but yeah, Evo's down again, so that is my life. Firearms never let you down. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, we'll have some more gun content. Evo content was so rapidly here and gone. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Like the video. Tell your friends. I'm going to need all the support I can get on this one. Um, but she will be back, I promise. The 700 wheel horsepower Evo will be back. But be patient with me. Take care, guys.